The overall goal of this procedure is to develop a microfluidic sensor technology. This is accomplished by first fabricating potential devices by coating capillaries with a silicon quantum dot layer. The second step is to determine which of the samples meet the basic requirements for use as a sensor. Next, a sensor device is connected to a micro-pumping system to allow the introduction of analytes. The final step is to collect fluorescent spectra and analyze the results. Ultimately, fluorescence microscopy is used to show refractometric sensing of fluids in a capillary channel. The main advantages of this device include its small size, its microfluidic compatibility, and the fact that one can readily envision a complete device being built from a set of fairly inexpensive components. Because of the microfluidic channel, any fluid can be pumped inside the capillary. The hardest part is to functionalize the surface in order to bind to specific analytes. This device has a wide range of potential applications, such as food safety, groundwater analysis, or even healthcare. The hardest part about this device is that the sample making preparation is very finicky and there's a very low success rate. Because the smallest thing can lead to failure in the sample preparation, a visual demonstration of this technique helps to increase the success rate. Begin with the preparation of microcapillaries. Obtain silica capillaries from a commercial supplier. Choose an inner diameter of approximately 25 to 30 micrometers for more widely separated spectral resonances, or an inner diameter of about 100 micrometers for more closely spaced resonances with higher quality factors. Large outer diameters will ensure more durable and easily manipulated microcavities. Next, use a diamond fiber cleaver to cut approximately 10 centimeter pieces of capillary from the roll. Each piece constitutes